Alright, back from another successful campaign, saving Washington, D.C. Though I'm not exactly sure what we're saving, considering we've already established that we can't contact uh, the government, uh, we haven't heard from the president, so, you know, not sure exactly what we're saving. But then that begs the question, why would the aliens be shooting a rocket into Washington, D.C. if it was already destroyed? or if they had their existing infrastructure in their city up there. They would only be blowing up themselves. So, <laughs> some contradictory information. Best not to scratch too deep under the surface with this game, because I fear things just won't make sense. But, you know, it's either useful human stuff is intact in Washington, D.C., then we should have heard about them with Chelsky's 90% effective radio range, or nothing's in Washington, D.C., because it's already been destroyed or overrun, and then the aliens wouldn't have been shooting a rocket at it. Anyways, go figure. Alright, let's look around the base and see if we can find anything interesting. Doesn't look like it. No. Um, our objective is... Meet Falk, and he's not in his office, and it says go this way, so let's head up there. Actually, before I even go and talk to him in advance, I'm just kind of curious as what the state of the mission board looks like before I talk to Falk. You can't attend every threat yourself, but in some cases, you can dispatch agents to assist. On these dispatch missions, they will earn valuable experience and may find new equipment or even other experienced agents. However, they won't be available in the field while dispatched, so select your squads wisely. Okay, so it seems like now, finally, they have um, introduced dispatch missions. And um, right off the bat, we do have two of them available. Nevada. Complexity 5, and Fairfax, Virginia, Complexity 7, and a minor operation, which I would go on, and three news points. Okay. Now, agent management is telling me that there's something to do here. Oh yeah, a bunch of people have leveled up. So let's see what Carter's deal is. Oh, it's just telling me... It's just telling me that there's new equipment. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want the SMG. Let's, uh... Let's go with that shotgun for now. And Jennings... I have to, um... I forgot to give him the right backpack, so let's give him that sharpshooter pack. And it looks like he's leveled as well. So he's going to be my defensive guy, so let's go. Yes. Hopefully he'll stay alive longer. As opposed to uh, Depeza here, who on, last, on the last mission got three more kills than than Jennings, so I guess that's because this damage is working. I don't know. Time will tell and confirm. Equipment. What new equipment? Yeah, medical pack. I don't think so. Slows bleed out time. Yeah, that might help me, but these guys are sharpshooters. I don't know. It's like, do I also give one of these guys a, an, a defensive pack? Let's give it to Jennings. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's go talk to Falk. Really wish you could sprint in here. How are they gonna know? Carter, 
Join me. I don't like it when my agents go off the rails, Carter. Never ignore my orders again. You're lucky things turned out as well as they did with Dr. Weir's rescue. I'll have a look at this time. I understand the situation is getting to you. Weaver tell you that? You just figured it out on your own. I need to know I can trust you, Carter. I took a big risk including you in this operation. And I'm about to take another. He still swore about two missions ago? He didn't talk to me about it after it. In case you forgot, I was the one who caught the infiltrator. I'm well aware. And you're going to help us interrogate the captain. But we absolutely cannot afford another breach. Especially not now. We can't afford to let any of our information become public. What do you have planned? A way to strike back. To win the war. You saw what they did to Groom Range Falk. We barely got out alive. How do you expect to strike back against something like that? With this. We just need the right target. We're hoping the infiltrator can help us there. That's an impressive flying saucer you've built. Actually, the Air Force was already toying with a prototype like this. Our German associate just made a few modifications, including everything we could steal from the outsiders. How does it handle? When it's finished, it'll be faster and more maneuverable than anything in the skies. Can I get through those Ven gates of theirs? That's what we need you to find out. I'll see what I can get out of the infiltrator. Good. We've got him in a containment center in the lab, built especially for him. Got his own luxury suite, huh? That ought to soften him up. Don't count on it. How gentle do I need to be? Just be careful. He's the only captive we have. So I'm not sure if this was part of that wreckage that we shot down with our handgun or not. Um, but I'm just going to assume that it is, because otherwise... I don't know, they said that they were working on it even before this. But it would make a lot more sense if it was part of that wreckage. So it can move in any direction? Like a helicopter? Yes, a helicopter was twice as durable, five times faster, and could fly through a vacuum. Ah... That makes quite a difference. Okay, where am I going for this? Interrogation. Other side of the base, I guess. Yeah, that's mature. Infiltrator's right inside, Agent Carter. If you need anything, just ask. Interrogation time. Now, I know I'm trying to be uh, an a-hole for most of the uh, dialogue. But that's usually for the dialogue that I don't think matters, so I'm not sure how I'm going to take this one. I see you gave up on the disguise. Done playing dress-up? This one can no longer hide. Those systems were corrupted by your scientists. Yeah. Gloat all you want about your superior technology while we've got you tied to a chair with a rope. You want revenge for your fellow warrior. Go ahead and take it. Nothing you do will stop the Zujari. We're gonna pay a visit to your home, and you're gonna help us get there. A counter-invasion? Ha! The more you resist Mosaic, the more you will bring death to your world. You think you have seen our strength? This is just an expeditionary force preparing the way for our armies. We will destroy you. We'll see about that. It's simple. You will join our empire or you will die. For us, there are no other choices. Resistance is futile. Our white coats say there's been a change in your attitude ever since they yanked this device out of your head. I want to know what the hell it is. It is many things. A shield, a beacon, our focus, it is mosaic. Without it we are, 
I am alone, unsure, impure of thought. What exactly is Mosaic? You would think of it as a broadcast, a network. Each of us are connected to it. It unites us. Oh, so it's the how internet. You receive your orders. Our orders, our faith. Mosaic delivers truth, or perhaps what Origin decides is the truth. Why don't you just do yourself a favor? Just talk straight to me and tell me about this Origin. Maybe we can help you. You are more civilized than would be expected for such divided creatures. It is not a weakness. Nothing is as I thought. Nothing is as Origin told us. Listen, I'm fighting for the survival of my entire race here. Give me something to work with, or you'll find out what I'm willing to do for my world. You have already seen what we are willing to do for our own dying world. What Origin has forced us to do for our world. Forced me to do to other worlds. You don't have to let Origin control you. Tell us how to stop him and you can be free. We can destroy Mosaic. You can all be free. Yes, but Mosaic cannot be destroyed. Mosaic is not a single place, not a solid thing. And soon it will consume your people as it has so many, as it did mine. You're wrong. We've traced Mosaic's transmissions to a single location. If we can get there, your people can be free. A myth spread by the few who are deaf to Mosaic. I used to think they were mad, but perhaps... Here's proof. A source for Mosaic's transmissions. If we get there, we can put an end to it. But without Mosaic, without Origin's guidance, my people... We will never find a new world. Your people could come here without conquest. Wouldn't be the first time immigrants came to our shores. We'll help you fight for your freedom. And in return, you can live in the land of the free. William Carter. My thoughts are my own for the first time in my life. If there is a chance that others can know this freedom, <laughs> I will tell you this what you want to know. Freedom you speak of. To survive the crossing, you will need an instrument that can recalibrate quantum structures. Such a device can be acquired from one of our ships, which you can find only at one of our docking stations near a Ven gate. Thank you. Once we've stopped Origin, your people will thank you too. So, sounding a little bit, uh, ever so subtly, uh, patriotic, maybe? Um, reflecting those outside ideas of other people's ways of life and not understanding the pure freedom of the American way. Just a little bit. Just a little hint of that. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, that's all done up. Nice work in there, Carter. I bet the director will want to tell you that himself. Was he watching? You even have to ask that question? He's waiting for you in ops. I'm sure he is. Sir, we demand to have access to the outside. Waterboarding. That's how I did it. That's the answer. Everyone's so surprised that I didn't beat the living snot out of her. Carter, good work in there. I'm honestly surprised you kept your cool. I know you are. Thanks. But I gotta admit, I still want to take his head off after what he did to Nils. So I take it you didn't actually just offer a new homeworld to an entire planet full of aliens? Well, see if it comes to that. But I never made any promises. Now, I've been discussing the information you extracted with Dr. Weir. Any clue where we can find one of those interdimensional things he was talking about? The doctor calls it a phase plotter. 
and we know that there's an outsider docking tower near a town called Vida Buena in New Mexico. De Silva's team reported it when they were investigating sleepwalkers in the area. Sounds like I should talk to De Silva. That could be difficult. De Silva's team attempted to infiltrate the structure. The last report we got from them was a few weeks ago. What the hell, Falk? De Silva goes missing and you're just telling me now. Calm down, Carter. We have reason to believe that he's still alive. But he's deep in enemy territory and unable to broadcast. Link up with him and his team. Then you will all escort Dr. Weir through the command tower and secure the phase plotter. What was De Silva doing up there anyway? He was assigned to gather intel on the Outsider's gates for Dr. Weir's benefit. And now we're going there to get one of these gadgets. What aren't you telling me about this place? Vida Buena is an Outsider transport hub. Ships coming and going from one of those gates, 24 hours a day. So the best chance we have of getting a phase plotter... ...is a place swarming with enemies. Yes. Why are we putting the Doctor back in danger? Weir is the only one who understands how the enemy gates work. He's the only one with any insight into how their systems might operate. And no time to train a field specialist, right? Precisely. Keep Dr. Weir safe. He's far too valuable to lose. All right. That's all I need. I'll have senior ops inform Dr. Weir that you're ready to go. And Carter. Yes, sir? Good luck out there. Yes, sir. Thanks, Myron. Okay, so what changed on here? What changed is that we have this major operation on the map now. And we still have two dispatch missions, which is which I want to send my guys off to. And we still have a minor operation, which will be good because then I can wait till some of my guys come back from a dispatch and we can send them on the second one. So uh, let's take a look at what these things give us. Uh, Guardian Pack reduces damage taken from all attacks. That sounds pretty good. This is one is Complexity 5. It's the easier one, so I just would naturally think to send them out on that one first. This one gives me a Rank 3 Recon Agent. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, complexity 7. Though I already have two Recon Agents, and they're kind of what I want, so I'm not sure how important or useful this one will be. Let's let's do things in seemingly order, so I'll send some guys out on this one. So we go select agent. Now I don't think it matters how I equip them because they always complete the mission successfully, they don't die or anything like that. So let's send some defensive guys out because if I was going to switch to any of these guys that are not snipers, I would probably use the defensive guys. Um, so that would be Sosa and then I think it was Hopkins and then it was Coelho. And then, now let's see if I can squeeze more agents than I should be able to on here. So I'm going to send Coleman and then I'll be one short but then I'll just send Boswell and overkill it a little bit. Which means that... Um, it means that I would only have O'Malley available to swap in. If one of my guys died on the mission, this is the only guy that would be left over that I could replace. But I don't intend on allowing my guys to die and continue the mission, so not that much of a consideration. Because I really need those, really want those snipers, so. Okay, let's launch them out on this thing. And then I'll get this, probably start using this. Well, I don't know if I want to swap them out. Sharpshooter. I really don't know how my sniper guys, you know, fight. I don't know if they do headshots or not. So I'll probably give them this guardian pack and I'll probably continue to use my sharpshooter pack. 
Alright, let's launch him off. Okay, and that's all there is. There's a little shield icon here. I could theoretically try to send them at the same time, but I don't obviously don't have enough guys to meet mission complexity seven, so Alright, so um Grifter. Recover artifact. A train carrying a highly classified alien artifact has derailed. Outsider involvement is assumed. Recover the artifact before the outsiders do. Okay, I don't know. I just have to check my team actually. My agents right now. What are they doing? Wait. So I can see from here I've got a shotgun, a sniper, sharpshooter. Tepez has got a sharpshooter. Jennings has. That's that health one. Yeah, medical pack. Um, let's give it a shot. Let's see if, like, I don't know, I'll have to keep my eyes peeled, but I'll have to see when, if he ever crosses a threshold, which I think they do, where you, where the sniper doesn't do enough damage so that your critical strike does not one-shot guys anymore. At that point, I need to make sure he does more damage. But it's interesting because at that boundary... It's almost like uh, Depeza's concentration on doing damage is wasted because all that really kind of matters is if you kill the guy with one shot or not. Does it take two shots kind of thing, at least for critical strike. But <clears throat> maybe, I can, uh, maybe I can keep my eyes peeled and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that looks good. So here we go. Let's, let's do that minor operation. Mission. 